really nice day today. Bella and I are gonna do a pocket dump for you guys. Some of you are wondering, who's Bella? It's Bella, we're out on a walk, and this will turn into a run. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I carry on my runs, and then what I carry on my regular day. Okay, my running gear. Usually, I got the pocket sprint with me because it's super lightweight and super tiny and it's super fast and it's called sprint, so I think it makes me faster. Faster. Uh, S35VN aluminum two-piece chassis button, open, automatic, uh, deep pocket carry, just super nice to carry on my short shorts. And also, I carry a wallet just because I, I don't want to get pulled over or need money or want to buy something like I'm thirsty. So I got to go to Circle K and get me a drink. This one's for my friends, Lesbian PC. And I carry my headphones. Uh, these are Jaybird Bestas. Uh, these are like a couple hundred dollars, but they're super rugged, indestructible, sweat proof, dust proof, just very nice headphones. And they have their app, which gives you an EQ. Uh, so you can play with that and last but not least I got my Garmin watch it monitors my heartbeat it monitors uh, my run how long I ran you know how fast etc and this is also a couple hundred dollars and I put a nice natural rubber strap on it from my watch glycine so here's a shot of my running gear right so with my everyday carry um my everyday carry like just normally i'm gonna carry something bigger more substantial this is the pm2 uh so i will leave this at home uh it won't be like my secondary carry uh just because i already got too many things in my pocket right so i carry one knife with me and it's the pm2 this one's a little dirty uh i apologize uh but i got a lynch clip carbon fiber scales backspacer blue hardware and even though it's like pimped out, I, I use it every day uh, for work and stuff. Like even the tip is gone on it. Uh, lately, I've been carrying two pants and I'll tell you why right now. So I got the two speed eco T and like a nice blue. Reminds me of like 1950s cars. You know, like the Thunderbird had that blue and I, I, I like it. And it was only $30, so I had to buy it. I was making an order for my sister's uh, birthday present, which was uh, an eco button purple. And I was like, I gotta have this one. I like the gray one too, but I can't afford to own everything. And then I also have my Machinera fountain kit. And this is an interesting pen review coming soon, guys. Stay tuned for that, please. Like and subscribe for the review of this thing. This can be a ballpoint pen if you're not a fountain pen fanatic which is really, really cool, but you can still use fountain pen ink, which is cool because it's cheap. It's available in, in an infinite amount of colors, really. And it's really affordable. So the, the, the pen tool itself is only $75. I know when I say only, some of you are cringing, but like when Kaweco makes something like this, they don't make it as intricately nice. And it's probably like 100, 100 plus. So you're saving like $25 getting it made in America. 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 And the machining on this thing is incredible. Uh, the threads on this thing is super fidgetable because they're so smooth and so pleasant. You can just fidget with your pen if you can't be fidgeting with your knife for some reason. Uh, so this is not a review for this pen. So I'm going to stop talking about it. But stay tuned for the review because I have a lot to say about that particular piece so here's a shot of um, the gear uh, i'm gonna be carrying today and yeah let me know what you guys have in your pockets S subscribe if you can it doesn't cost you a thing but you know it, it makes me really happy and uh it makes me think that i'm doing this for a reason so yeah you guys uh, have a great day and that was my pocket dump as of september 2020 crazy year right <laughs>